here about to shoot this uh this rapid eye movement video about to start the episode now what's going on brainiacs it's the first official season and the first official anniversary for rapid eye movement thank you guys for hanging on can i get a round of applause I just started this video though. First, I should answer a few questions about rapid eye movement that I consistently get. Hey bro, good job on the movement. Dude, rapid eye movement as in when you sleep in your dream. That, 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 it's not a movement, you guys. It's not a movement. But no, rapid eye movement, it's not a movement. It is a series of ideas and stories that are presented through a dream. Because no matter how crazy your dreams are or whatever symbols you see, they all mean something. They're trying to tell you something. It's things that will help you in your waking life. So what I'm doing is presenting stories and philosophical ideas through visuals and presenting them in random ways so you can learn from them. Even if you don't think you're learning anything from them, I'm guaranteed sure you learn something. You Superman, bro? Yeah, That's Petey Pablo right here. <laughs> How did I come up with Rapid Eye Movement? Well, I came up with Rapid Eye Movement because at the time I was doing a lot of things. I was doing music. I was doing video, I was doing school, science, I was just doing everything. So what I decided to do was put it all into one box and perfect my craft. And then I also saw that there were a lot of independent artists that needed help. They were like, hey man, I'm trying to be an actor or hey, I'm trying to get my music heard, this, that, and other. Well, let's do it together. All right, cool. We look like African slaves out here. This shit is ridiculous. <laughs> All right. What are you gonna expect from Rapid Eye Movement this season? You can expect funny jokes, like jokes like Kevin Hart ain't even ready for these jokes, like that funny. You can expect philosophical ideas that I just sit around and think about and just want to put into action. Great music for me, from. A lot of other artists that I know they're trying to get their music heard and it sounds a lot better than that trash on radio. Just saying. Good. Alright, three, two, get ready girls. One. The challenges. It's real man, look, let me tell you. People always wonder what goes into making this show or into doing what I'm doing. Here's an expense that I can't pay for myself. It's a setback. I try to figure out how to finish episode one. This is just episode one's problem. So just imagine what's gonna be down the road. The whole rotor, that shiny disc thing that you normally see is gone. Yeah. So we gotta figure out how we're gonna get that fixed. Broke down cars. We have no money, no budget. I should have a production company called No Budget Films. That would be dope. Wait, what's your budget? No budget? Bro, we got you. Gas? Not for real though. We need, you know, we have no sponsors, so we're kind of broke. And I have to like, you know, all the people that are volunteering, helping me out with my show, have to kind of somewhat put like food in their stomach. Hit, hit, wink, wink. Sponsors, please. Inconvenience times, you know, I'm still a college student. I'm also working on phone apps. For example, Alki, you should go download that down. It's on the Android market. Yes, yes, yes. Just being broke. Been a broke college student trying to do something positive in the world. That, that's a challenge within itself. Right. What made y'all want to come out here and shoot the rapid eye movement? We just support Brian and what he's trying to do. Right. Oh my God, he's next. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, trying to support Brian, help him out for his web series. Basically. I titled this episode Crossroads because, uh, you know, everybody has a path that they want to take in life. They always, you, you always hit a wall or you always come to an area where you're confused at what you were supposed to do. So this episode, you can take it how you, how you see it once it comes out, but um, the intention behind it was to showcase the idea that you don't have to listen to what everybody else is trying to tell you to do. Like, if somebody's trying to tell you to do something that they're doing, you don't know what struggles they've been through just to get to that position. So, are you are you ready to take on those struggles that they had to go through? Or the temptation of going down another road? Are you ready to suffer the consequences down that road? Versus making your own choices, choosing your own path, and dealing with your own consequences, and not having to be like everybody else. You don't have to be a template. During filming, man, it was hot in my look. It was so many people was complaining. I think actually when you see the episode, you can see sweat dripping off some of their faces. It was serious out there, man. It had to be like 106 degrees outside. Rapid eye movement video. About to start the episode now. I'm gonna flip it over. <laughs> it's so hot. It's really hot. Like, it's not. How, how y'all feeling today? Y'all hot? Feeling, yeah. What? Right now. Ain't no damn water. <laughs> I'm sorry. Should I not cut so much? Hey, Brian. What? 
She meant beaver dam. She meant beaver dam. Beaver dam. That's yeah. what we're going with. I made people walk half a mile because I was trying to be nice to my car and uh, not have it break down for like a third time in a week. Um, so I had to walk a mile and a half through the forest. Y'all look so happy to be out here right now. <laughs> Just now at the top of the hill? Don't worry, my shirt stays on. I ain't, I ain't got all that. I promise this is the last turn. We're going up here and that's it. Right. <laughs> to get to the location. And then, you know, they almost had to walk back, but then this awesome guy came and picked us out. It's been, we've been out here all day. <laughs> What's your name, man? Ty Smith. Ty Smith. Ty Smith just saved our lives <laughs> uh, walking out of this hot desert. I had everybody walking through forests. I mean, jungle, whatever. This this place. And thank you, man. We appreciate it. Course, you just guys. did a good job for Rapid Eye Movement. Seriously, watch it. It's going to be awesome. <laughs>